Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of The Sims Busting Out. So we are currently still at Shiny Things Lab, although we do have all the promotions we need. Courtney's not that happy. Maybe I'll just get Ziggy to rustle up a bit of food. So we've got all of the promotions we need. We do still have a couple missions we have to complete. Go to Studio 8 and change minds about scientists, but to do that one, I have to do this one, show off the rocket gnomes. And to do that one, I need a level 8 in mechanical. Courtney currently has a level 4, so she's, she's quite a way off of that. And I'm just kind of thinking, I'm going to be coming back to this lot anyway for the, I want to say the military career. So I'm kind of tempted to just fulfill her needs and then move on to the next location, which I think is the octagon. And then hopefully the next time we swing by this place, we'll have our level eight and we can finish off all of the goals we need here. So yeah, I think that's, that's just going to be something I say every time I see a goal I don't want to do. I'll just procrastinate. Oh, we don't need to do that goal yet. We'll, we'll be back. <laughs> I think that's going to be my plan. All right, Ziggy, let's just let's just try and get you all happy first and then maybe we'll move you two out. Okay, Courtney, let's just I know you're not fully rested, but I kind of figure if I wake you up to fulfill your other needs, then maybe you'll wake up in a good mood after I send you to bed again. I don't think I ever did hire a maid because this place is looking pretty gross. Oh no, Courtney, wake up. Wake up, I was just about to send you to bed. There you go, go to bed, don't be so difficult. Okay, what time are these other guys gonna go to work? Cause I could really do without them hanging around. Oh, they'll both go to work soon, okay, good. Okay, so those two are gonna go to work. I'm gonna give Courtney the day off today. I can't remember when she last have a day off, had a day off, so I'm just gonna save it. Just in case, you never know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Oh, I did hire a maid. Why is this place such a shithole then, maid? Pull your finger out. Okay, Ziggy's pretty well rested. How about you, Courtney? How are you doing? Well, she's being woken up by the phone anyway. Okay, I think now is probably a good time to move out. I, I think we're going to the Octagon next. So, let's go. Come on, Zig. Hop in the car. Grab your personal belongings. It's time to hit the road again. And I will complete my science lab goals the next time around, when we come here for the military career. You leaving Ziggy behind? Or Yeah, we'll leave Ziggy behind. He can run. We'll see him there in a few hours. Okay, oh yeah, it tells me, mad scientist. So the octagon is next. I think we're gonna be at the octagon for quite a while because I'm gonna have a whole list of new objectives, plus some promotions. And also, I wanna try and rebuild those friendships so I think we'll be at the Octagon for quite a while. Oh, there's my man. General Payne, you ineffective jarhead. I'm taking back your secret weapons. Give this, get this base back on track or I'll have it closed. Uh-oh, it's Malco. Aren't you like homeless now, Malcolm? Cause I stole your, your mansion. What's he gonna take? Oh no, not the thing. I don't know what that is. Some kind of weapon, I guess. Oh, he only took one thing this time, I think. Is that it? Come on, Malcolm, call it a day. Don't take anything else. Oh, he's taking something else that I don't really give a shit about. Politicians like Landgrab make me sick! If only we could find someone that will! <laughs> if only we could find someone with the will to teach him a lesson he will never forget. Someone who can execute a mission perfectly. Can you execute a mission perfectly, Courtney? I don't know, General. Intel believes someone in the neighborhood is in illegal possession of a biological weapon. We need, we need to eliminate this threat at any cost. Guys, I've just moved in. Can we just calm it down for a minute? Like, let me grab a glass of water, make myself a sandwich. Like, let me settle in before we start talking about changing the world. They're so intense, these guys, aren't they? Right, what are my goals? Okay, so, two promotions find and shut down the hackers, find and suppress anti-war protesters, <laughs> okay, uh, seek and destroy bioweapons, 
buy 2,000 simoleons worth of equipment. Eliminate Senator Landgrab. Jesus. That's a, a lot of missions, guys. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna buy a few objects to help me with my skill building. Because right now I think I'm just gonna focus on like the friends and the promotions and you know I'll try and do some of the side missions, but I'm not gonna make it my main priority Okay, I'm gonna get myself another workbench So I can build up my mechanical skill and then perhaps I should get like a chess table Maybe because I don't think I've unlocked the telescope yet. I mean what kind of like equipment do they need? I didn't even see what they took. Maybe it just means furnish it, like just furnish it in general. Well then you know I'm getting myself a synthesizer, although I'm almost out of money now. <laughs> I noticed when I left the lab, they didn't give me any money. Usually they like, will say that they owe me something, but these guys didn't pay me anything. Okay, does that count as 2,000 simoleons worth of equipment? Yay! What have I unlocked? A column. Great, very fancy. Right, well then, I better start working on my skills, so let's go and invent something. Try and get that mechanical level up there. So I'm basically at the point where I was at Tinsel Bluffs then. Not bad, not bad. Who's that at the door? Is it any of my friends? No, just some, just some rando I don't give a shit about. Okay, Ziggy, how are you doing? You know what? Your relationships are getting a bit low. I think we should get you to call all your little friends. Just have a little chat with them, you know? And then Courtney, you just keep inventing. We're doing fine in terms of friends. So we just gotta get your mechanical and your logic up there. Aw, Rod was really rude on the phone. That's so sad. Maybe we'll try calling him again. See if he'll be nice this time. Oh, he was rude again. Oh no, we're losing our relationship with Rod, I think. Well, we'll invite Peter this time then. We'll learn our lesson. Oh, there's Dudley. We can go and greet Dudley. How are you getting on with your mechanical building, Courtney? Oh, she's almost there. Great. And there is Peter. So we've got Dudley and Peter both here. Okay, so I think Peter's only gonna need a couple interactions. We're already friends with him. So I'm just gonna do a few interactions just to try and keep things sweet so that we're like best, best, best friends. Hey, Courtney got her mechanical point. Well done. All right, Courtney, well, you can quit doing that if you want. I may as well send you to bed so you can get some sleep. How are you getting on with Pisa? Oh, how are you like, how did that relationship get worse? Come on, guys, come on. Oh, is that Bella Goth? And now we have an even worse relationship with Pisa. Great, great, just what I wanted. Is Dudley still here, I wonder? I think Dudley's gone, but maybe, maybe Ziggy could like get to know Bella a little bit. I bet she'd love a magic trick. And I know she loves a gossip as well. Shall we see if there's any chance we can build a relationship with Bella? Cause it would be ideal if Ziggy got to manage the relationships and then Courtney didn't have to worry so much about it. Oh, he is making friends with Bella. All right, Pete, I think that's enough socializing for you. Let's go work on your needs. Okay, so who do we have here? Who are you? So we have Maxine and the General. How are their skills? Okay, Maxine can cook a couple of things. So you know what, Maxine? How about you serve up some food for everybody? Make yourself useful. What does Maxine do then? She's a robotician. And the General, what does he do? Secret agent, okay. All right, Courtney, well, you're pretty well rested, so let's just get your needs up so that you're as happy as you can be. It's gone all quiet all of a sudden. Okay, I think she's filling her social need as well as she's eating, which is ideal. I wonder if I get her to play chess. Will that give her fun as well as logic? I hope so, because we only need one more logic skill to get the next promotion, so... Yeah, I think her fun is going up. Oh, great success. So let's just take a look how things are with her friends. Things are good with Mortimer. Things are pretty good with Bella. Mimi, Mona, Dudley need a little bit of work. We're not friends with Malcolm anymore. Not friends with Bing anymore. I mean, I knew I fucked it with Fanny, so she's kind of off the cards now. But Bing, Dudley, and Mona, and Mimi. So I think my safest option 
when Courtney finishes work today is to go to Club Rub because Mona and Bing are going to be there. Probably Mimi w is going to be there as well. Dudley probably won't be. But you know what? That's okay because I think Ziggy is going to take over the Dudley relationship because he's doing pretty well with his friends. He could do with another so he can take over the Dudley relationship. In fact, I might get him to call Dudley while the others are at work so that he can take over that. I wonder if I got Ziggy to play with Courtney, then they could build the skill and maybe fulfill their social needs as well. What time does your bus get here, Courtney? 10 a.m. That might be enough time to get this skill, you know? We might just get a promotion. Possibly. Right, you two go to work. I could do without babysitting you guys today. Oh, our bus is going to arrive in an hour. Is that enough time to get this last skill point, I wonder, and keep her fairly happy? Hey, Great success! Okay, well, Courtney, your bus is going to get here in an hour. That's probably enough time to just have a super quick snack and then maybe try and be in a fairly good mood for work today. Okay, Courtney, have a good day. Ziggy, you have a few little chores to do. First things first, we need to hire a maid. And we may as well hire a gardener as well because I think we're going to be here for quite a while. And then I'm going to get you to call Dudley. I'm going to try and, over the course of the game, try and, like, transfer all of the friends to Ziggy. Who's not gone to work? Hey, get up. It's time to go to work. I do not want to babysit you, Maxine. Get on that bus right now. Pain in my ass. Yeah, so I'm thinking, trying to think fairly long term. Once we get Dudley on side and we have him as a friend... Then maybe we'll work on Bella. Oh, there he is. Let's just try and get our relationship with Dudley to get to be as high as possible. I want to try and aim for the stars here. Hopefully we can get like a hundred or something. Ziggy, why won't you greet him? Greet your friend. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, let's just queue up a load of interactions. Hopefully they all fly well with Dudley. And hopefully we can be bezies. We already have a fairly high relationship with Dudley, so it shouldn't take too long to become friends. Yeah, we're almost there. We're close. We're close. Hey, we made a new family friend. Great success. Oh, we got promoted. We're now a robotician. Perfect. And I completed a goal. What did I unlock? A Miss Gyrotic, Gyrotic coffee machine, I'm guessing. Well done, Courtney. Well, you're obviously in a pissy mood, and right now Ziggy is trying to befriend Dudley. So before I send you to Club Rub, I will let you have some food and get a few hours in bed. What's the skill situation? Okay, we need a, a, quite a lot for logic and mechanical. Things are going pretty well with Dudley, although Ziggy's starting to get in a bad mood, so I think his interactions are going to start becoming negative fairly soon. Well, we're in the 70s with Dudley. I think that's enough. Let's just try and make you happy, Ziggy. Okay, everyone is in a bad mood because everyone is a bit tired. So you know what? Let's just get everyone to bed. Let's get you all tucked up and then hopefully you'll stop bitching and moaning at me. I'm kind of half tempted to not even bother getting Courtney to repair her relationship with some of the others because really... Ziggy could do that. Ziggy could become friends with Bing and then Mona. Although Mona is quite a difficult friend to maintain. She's quite a bitch, so it's kind of hard to get on her good side. All right, so Courtney, let's just get you to take a shower and use the toilet. And then Ziggy, maybe you can rustle up some food. I'm going to maybe, now that I've got that first promotion, I'm going to work on some of these side quests because I think they should be fairly straightforward, she says. Because I have quite a lot of skill building to do for mechanical and logic. But let's just remind myself of these goals because some of these are just taking trips to other houses. Find and shut down the hackers. Okay, so I know that that's at Club Rub. The anti-war protesters. Oh, wait, hang on. So the bioweapons are Goth Manor, the anti-war protesters are Club Rub. I can't remember where the hackers are. And then eliminate Malcolm Landgrab. Okay. So the other two I know how to do. The hackers I'm not so sure about. I might have to take a little trip and just see if I can figure that one out. 
But I think we're gonna, we're definitely going to take a day off today to do some of these missions. So, Courtney, let's just have something to eat. Then we'll do something fun. Or maybe we'll have a chat to... We'll do a few interactions with Ziggy. I mean, Ziggy's in a fairly good mood, I guess. I know, Ziggy. I know. You want to have fun. I know. Why don't you go play some games? And then, Courtney, you can go synthesize. I know you love doing that. Okay. Let's go travel. I'm thinking let's start with let's start with Goth Manor then we'll go to Club Rub. I think eliminating Malcolm will be pretty easy. I think I just have to like invite him over and kill him. <laughs> See you later Octagon. Okay let's go to Goth Manor. So the Goth family I think that's what this building was in the back. This these little machines here. Ah, oh, here we go. Destroy bioweapon. Okay, okay. Hopefully that's all I have to do. I think it's just the one weapon. Sorry, Bella and Mortimer. You guys aren't going to be too impressed with me once I, once I get done with this. But, you know, it has to be done. And I've now unlocked the Abdominator, which is perfect. That means I can build up some high body skills. Right, let's leave. Annoyingly, I can't just go to another lot, though. I have to go back home and then head out again. But, you know, at least I'm giving myself the day off, so I don't have to worry too much about keeping her that happy. Home sweet home. Only to leave again. Okay, let's go. So next up is going to be Club Rub, but I might take a look as well and see where the hackers might be. I'm trying to remember what everyone does. Like, So Studio 8 is the art gallery, so is it really going to be them? Probably not. Oh, maybe it's the science lab. The other hackers. Well, let's just go to Club Rub and then I know I can do the anti war protesters. Yeah, I think probably it's gonna be the science lab. And I think I have to attack one of them. So, <laughs> just as I was hoping to rebuild a friendship, I think I'm gonna attack Bing because Bing is the one that I've already lost a friendship with. So, oh, and Mimi's here. So, I might try and rebuild my friendship with Mimi. Attack, there we go. So I'm going to go attack Bing, and then Mimi will compliment Mimi. Although Courtney's in a very bad mood. Why are you in such a bad mood? Okay, she's in a good mood again. Great. Oh, we're starting to scrap. We're starting to scrap. And I'm pretty sure that should be it for that mission. And uh, Also, I'll do a break dance with Mimi. We'll just get our relationship way back on track. Unlocked the toy parrot. Oh, great success. Well, if I hadn't lost Bing as a friend before, I've definitely lost him now. But at least I can put things right with Mimi. And while I'm here, I could maybe do a couple interactions with Mona as well. Okay, 72 with Mimi. That's great. Great success. Yeah, we'll do a couple interactions with Mona. Get ourselves back in the... I'd say the 70s, maybe. Okay, perfect, perfect. We're great friends with Mona again. I think it's a good time to head out. Two birds with one stone with that one. We're great friends with Mona again. Great friends with Mimi. The only friendship that we need to work on is the one with Bella. But I'm thinking Ziggy might be able to take over that one. Your bus will arrive at your home. Well, I'm taking the day off, so I don't need to worry about what time my bus is going to be there. Thanks, game. So I'm thinking I have the full day off, so I'm going to go home, fulfill her needs. Maybe see if we can head out again and figure out... Um, who the hackers are. Should probably think about maybe paying some bills at some point as well, because I haven't done that for a while. All right, Courtney, what do you need? Some food, some sleep. Well, I might just send her to bed. Um, maybe I might just try and buy some better beds because sleep is the one need that if I can fill that up quicker, it would be ideal. So I'm gonna see if I can get like a really comfortable bed so I can fill that need really quickly. Okay, this is the most comfortable bed I can get. So hopefully that means she will sleep and fulfill that need quicker, I'm hoping. How's Ziggy doing? He's doing all right. Tell you what, Ziggy, why don't you do some synthesizing? Increase your fun. I think her sleep need is fulfilling quicker. I can't really tell. Hey, shouldn't you be going to work? Oh, I think the other guy, I think the general just gave himself a day off. That is so annoying. 
Okay, Courtney, that's probably enough sleep. Why don't you come grab some food, do a bit of synthesizing, maybe use the bathroom, and then we'll see what we can do at Shiny Things Lab. Courtney has missed work today. <gasps> oh no, so scary. That's why we don't answer the phone in this house. Let's just take a quick look at these goals again. So one more promotion. Find and shut down the hackers. I think we can manage. I think, I think this will be all right. I'm not too worried about the octagon. Okay, Courtney, go and synthesize for a bit. Let's just get you in a good mood and then we'll head to the science lab and hope that they are the hackers that we're looking for. All right, let's go. Yeah, shiny things lab. It's got to be them. Who else could it be? Okay, let's just take a look around and figure out. Guessing it might have something to do with the computers, maybe? That must be it. Steel computer. There we go. Do I have to steal all of the computers, though? Or is it just one? I guess I could just... I mean, I can wait and see if it tells me that I've completed a goal. The application has performed illegal operations. Federal attorneys have been activated. <laughs> oh, it's just one computer. Okay, great. I've unlocked Club Rub. Okay, well, great success. Let's go home. We'll work on our needs, maybe build a few skills. Oh, and also we'll invite Malcolm Landgrab over because that should be the last of the little side missions. Here we go. And it's not too late to invite guests over. So let's call old man Malcolm. And then I might just send Courtney to bed because she doesn't really need to be around. Like I was just gonna build Malcolm into a little room, let him die that way. We will invite Malcolm over. Oh, this sim is not very happy at all. And now we wait. Now we wait for Malcolm to turn up. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. Just wait for him to get onto my property. Okay, let's see if I can get Ziggy to greet Malcolm. Maybe get him to stand, like, out of the way or something. Oh, hang on, hang on. That's pretty out of the way. If I use my wall tool... Okay, there we go. Oh, it won't let me build a wall around him. Why not? Oh, damn, I think the game knows what I'm trying to do and it's not letting me build a wall around Malcolm. Wait, have I locked him in the building? I mean, there is a way for him to get out, but for some reason the Sims are acting like they cannot reach him at all, so maybe he can't get out. I might have to just wait and see what happens with that one. Maybe he is stuck in there. How's Courtney getting on? Oh, great. Well, I feel like we've achieved quite a lot in this episode. We achieved most of the goals, um, and we might have the Malcolm one in the process. He might leave, I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.